In this video, we're going to be looking at the Williamson turn. It's one way of turning your vessel in a man overboard situation, the others being the Sharnov turn and the Anderson turn. I'm hoping to cover those in other videos, so make sure you turn on notifications if you're waiting for those to come out. So, the Williamson turn, its main use is in a man overboard situation, when you take action very quickly after somebody has fallen, say, you see them fall overboard, or they might have set off a man overboard sensor, or you hear somebody shouting man overboard. The idea is that it'll bring you onto a reciprocal track through the point where the person fell overboard. If you're taking action a long time after someone's fallen, one of the other turns might be more appropriate. So. How do you do a Williamson turn? Say for example somebody falls in, they've fallen off the starboard side of the ship and you actually saw them fall. First thing you want to do is put your rudder hard over in the direction they fell, so in this case hard to starboard. It doesn't actually matter which way because normally by the time the message reaches the bridge they're well astern of you anyway, but given the choice between port and starboard, why not turn towards them and make an attempt to swing your stern out of the way? Once you're 60 degrees off your original course, you're going to put your rudder hard over the other way. Remember, you're not instantly going to start turning because it's going to take time for the rudder to get back to midships and back over the other side and you're carrying a momentum in that turn anyway, so you're going to be swinging further than 60 degrees off, but it's all built into the turn. Just remember, once you're 60 degrees off, hard over the other way and start that turn back. Once you're then 30 degrees short of your reciprocal, you're going to start reducing that helm. When you're 20 degrees off your reciprocal, get the helm back to midships. This gives you 20 degrees to carry a bit of momentum to hopefully naturally steady up on the reciprocal of your track. Although, as you're approaching the reciprocal, if you notice you've still got a big rate of turn, just use a bit of counter helm, try and get that down so that you steady up on the reciprocal of your original track. Notice that you're going to steady up before you get back to the casualty, so you should see them ahead of your ship, you should be able to time your approach to them, be reducing speed ready to launch a rescue boat and go and recover them from the water. In terms of the speed itself, that should have come off during the turn anyway. Remember one of the ways of reducing speed is to make some large rudder movements and large turns, so doing a full 180 degree turn is going to be very effective at just naturally reducing your speed. And that was the Williamson turn. There's not too much to it, so hopefully that's made it easy to understand and will help you to remember how to do it and when it's used. Remember, I try to post a new video every week, so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos. If there are any topics you'd like me to cover, leave a comment on any of my videos as I try to read them all. Alternatively, pop across to the community on Patreon where you can message me directly and I'll be guaranteed to see your suggestion. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.